Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Horatrak and we are playing Europa Universalis 4 with the newest DLC, Rights of Man. We're playing on very hard difficulty and with uh, Lucky Nations on historical. Uh, we're playing as Bavaria. In the last episode we rented out our guys as Condottieri to Austria. And uh, Austria managed to uh, get a white piece out of this. So Burgundy did not, Burgundy did not manage to take Calais from England. And uh, that's what uh, Austria set out to do. I'm not sure why they wasted their manpower on that, but I guess the, everything that stops Burgundy in their expansion is a good thing for them. Uh, now we are planning, and we've already uh, been um, making a claim on Salzburg over here. Interesting. You could see that opinion modifier switch right away. Weird. They don't like us because we have a claim. Yeah. Um, that's a thing that can happen. We're still waiting on our alliance with Mainz. In one year we can do it. Austria wants us to transfer trade power. <laughs> Nobody. That's my trade power. You're gonna... Uh, um, how, how much development does Austria have? Is there a way to see it in the diplomatic view now? You see the score. It would be kind of useful to have that in the diplomatic view, I think. Without me having to go to the ledger at all times. I don't see it over here. Yeah, okay. Someone wants Condottieri again. Genoa. What war are you fighting, buddy? Uh, attack against Crimea and the Genoese con conquest of Crimea. Interesting. Okay, who's who's fighting there? Um, you don't you don't have any allies. Occupied by Crimea. They have no allies. Interesting. Genoa has a lot of allies. I might actually rent out my guys here. That might not be a bad idea. <laughs> uh, so how would we have to go? How would we have to go? Because I think I might just get a good amount of money out of this without having to actually fight. Um, they will get pissed, but I can always stop the condottieri contract, I think. So let's try to go for uh, military access through you. And um, okay, they decided to allow our troops access. And then we're going to ask you. Okay, so now we should be able to rent out our guys. Um, yeah, Genoa. So how much are you willing to pay for my army? 0 0.8. 0 0.8. No, they won't be able to do it for 0 0.9. Can't afford the upfront cost. I mean, I could just make this army a little bit smaller. Maybe just take out a couple of these guys. Um, so, first army, 1.2. Interesting. So, yeah, let's change that. Um, let's take half of these guys. Um, yeah, you go away. Let's merge them. Just trying to squeeze out as much of this as I can. So, how about the first army? Yeah, still willing to pay one. That will give us 63.73. Hmm. It looked like the smaller army was doing more for us. Yeah, let's just take these two guys out again. Um, no, not really. Well, I guess we, no, if we, if we rent out the whole army just like that, um, yeah, we're not gaining as much. Okay. So let's just take out, let's take out two. Let's see what, what we end up then. 60.93. No, it's not what they want. Hmm, let's take out two more. Um, so we're gonna have a 10-12 army. I'm not planning on fighting in this. I'm kind of an underhanded bastard, but oh well. It's just how that goes. That's going for 65.73. Hmm, they can't afford the upfront cost for anything else. So yeah, let's go with that. Let's get some money. We still have debts because of that costly renaissance. <laughs> And I kind of have to keep it um, keep it up. We're nearly that, uh, done improving our relations with um, 
uh, with Magdeburg. So we're gonna get another diplomat from that. It's really handy to have a couple of diplomats. Oh, and the monarch of Brandenburg died. Now, did we... Did we rent them out now? Yeah, we did. Okay. Let's move, left, let's move them down. Um, yeah, and they want they want a royal marriage offer. Yeah, why not? Let's go for it. They're gonna be very handy. Okay, we're done with Magdeburg, and we can go for for another Diplo idea that increases the power of our increase uh, improved relations, which is good. I like it. Next one is going to be what we really want out of this group. Diplomatic reputation plus two. That goes a long way in scoring alliances and all that. It's going to be really good. Um, we, are, we are paying for more um, for more stuff. So let's, let's get rid of that um, military access. That's a very costly. It's a very costly thing. Um, yeah, thank you. Thank you. And uh, Bohemia is fabricating on us. Go go on, buddy. If I get attacked by Bohemia, um, I will be defended by Austria. Which is a nice prop prospect. Um, secrets in our alliance. Ambassadors and diplomatic envoys often double as spies. Or at least informants who go beyond their duties to gather information in the country where they are supposed to do honest negotiations. This makes it less than surprising that an ambassador here in München has been suspected of involvement in espionage. The challenge now lies in tactfully handling this discovery, since only a thorough cross-examination could ascertain guilt. Brandenburg. Um, no, no, no. I'm not going to piss off Brandenburg. It's not worth it. It's really not worth it. Um, so we're improving relations with Mainz. Let's keep our allies close. Let's go for... Let's go for improving relations with Cologne as well. How's that looking? Yeah, we lost Liège. Saxony has sort of a, as always, the backer of Bohemia, which is not good. We still, we still rather solid for the throne. Eighty-seven. Yeah, we can top that off a little bit. Uh, we're already in February fourteen eighty-four. We really need mines for this. We gained some money. How far are we down the drain? Um, loans. Yeah, there are a couple coming up. And what I might do, we still don't have any problem over here. I'm going to turn off that fort. I can't turn off that one. But um, yeah, that will bring down our cost a little bit. Um, can I reduce my army maintenance? Yeah, but I can only reduce the ones that I have standing at home. Uh, Rumor is spreading that Brandenburg is preparing to attack Pomerania in a war of aggression. Okay, so we might actually, we might be called into this. Um, who are the allies of Pomerania? Denmark, East Frisia and Lüneburg. So it's sort of a northern war, but we'll definitely join um, Brandenburg. But I'd rather Brandenburg would, would stay um, quiet. How's this war going? Yeah, they're losing. Because they have no army. Why did you start a war when you have no army? I don't have any ships. Oh, smugglers running rampant. People are finding lots of ways of getting around paying taxes and fees on moving goods. This is cutting into our income, but stopping it would cost quite a lot in the short term. We can pay 40 ducats. Or we get reduced taxes and trade efficiency. But I think if we do the math, I think that it has always been better to just pay up front. Because we're taking in 5... 10% reduction of that. Um, that's a lot of money. I'm not going to do that. Stop them. Glad I have that kind of money. Thanks to being an underhanded rogue with my... Oh yeah, and I knew it would come to this. Um, let's repay the loan. Gotta, gotta extend the other loan. Crap. Yeah, we're definitely going to accept this. But I don't have an army now. That's not good. That's not good. Oh well. Oh, we didn't get the national recovery. Thanks, Brandenburg. You ass. Become emperor. 
Varric gets successful bid for the Imperial Throne until 18... Uh, for 10 years, which increases the prestige and the diplomatic reputation. The question is, can we pull this off? Um, I think we might always get this one. Bavarian ambition, though. That's that's even better than the Emperor thing. <laughs> I can't really plan on that. I can't really plan on that. On the other hand, we are rather firmly in the seat to, to actually do this. Yeah, why not? I mean, it is our goal. Let's try it. Let's try it. Um, we have been blessed with electoral dignity amongst the princes of the Empire. However, if we could improve relations with other electors, the Imperial Throne could be within our grasp. No electoral dignity for um, Bavaria. Yet. Um, which is a shame. I think they were made a an elector um, during the Thirty Years' War. But I don't think that's going to happen to us. I don't think so. Hmm. Yeah, it would be good if I could send in my troops here. Magdeburg is fighting as well. Allied with Bavaria and Brandenburg. Can't lose this. Um, so... Yeah, the problem is that Denmark has a lot of power behind them. And I sort of can't, can't join this, really. Hmm. How long until we until we can end our conditiary uh, thing? Seventh of April, fourteen eighty-five. Okay. Well, I guess. April eighty-five. So sixty-two. Nearly there. There. Come back. Seventeenth of September. Only one more month, and we'll have mines back. Which is important. Who are you fighting? Hessian conquest of Braunschweig. So, who are you at war with? Werden, Münster, and Oldenburg. Hessian conquest of Braunschweig. Um, Hesse, Mainz, Cologne. Yeah, the other guys are gonna lose. It's fine. I can ally myself with Mainz. And I really want to. I wouldn't even mind fighting in the war. That would be fine as well. Hmm, these guys look like they might want to siege my lands. I don't like it. Um, um, yeah, okay. I guess that didn't update. I know. Yeah, but... Come on, dude. We have annulled treaties like um, until the next month, but shouldn't we be able to do this now? Yeah, we are. Okay. Yay, buddy. Welcome. Finally got our alliance with the mines back. That's important, I think. We do not have military access. Really? Why could we move into Tyrol then? That's odd. That's really odd. Are we in a war? Yeah, Provence, Milan and Ragusa. Yeah, we already have a relationship with them, so why not go for the military access? That's fine. No, that means I can I can hide out. Can hide out my troops. Now um, really not too happy how this all turned out. We're kinda stuck with Genoa. I really thought Genoa would be a little bit more clever here. The Condottieri clients are disappointed. Yeah, I I guess I'm disappointed with you as well. That's sort of poor planning. I mean, I could try to get there. I don't think it's really feasible. And I actually have another war to fight in. But it looks like Brandenburg is uh, has it in hand. At least for now. Kind of would like to help them though. I really would. Nobility estate modifier diet held has expired. Their influence is now 37%. Oh, they are not very influential. I kind of like it that way, actually. What can we do? I can demand military support. But because they aren't very influential, um, that won't be as much as it would normally be. Um, how about the clergy? They have 30% they have influence. But I can't go for the, um, the admin support. I would have to give them some land. 
I kind of don't want to. When can I end this? 7th of April. Yeah, we're going to do this as soon as possible. We're kind of stuck here. At least we gained some money. We managed to pay down another loan. How far are we down now? 113. That's not too bad. We can get out of there with our own means. Um, could go for war taxes, but it's really not, not worth the points. Um, February... We're getting there. I do have to build a cannon, I think. We have cannons now. Um, still seven years ahead of time. That's kind of crazy. Um, infantry fire would be very good if we could get that. Because um, our, our fire is still lower than our shock value for now. So having the pike and shot is pretty important. Because we don't have a lot of uh, cavalry, even though we actually have the idea for it. We have 10% more cavalry combat ability, which isn't amazing, but... Oh yeah, and these guys have gone bankrupt again. Something's not right there. I wonder if I should send Paradox my save game or something. Because that's kind of weird. Former consort now rules in Württemberg. That's also fine. Oh yeah, 4th of April. We're going to be um, eyeing this like a hawk. So yeah, thanks. It's been it's been nice working for you, but goodbye. Let's let's go home and let's try to actually help our allies over there at least a little bit. The problem is going to be um, getting military access. <laughs> um, I wonder why Würzburg went bankrupt again. That's really shitty. Um, okay, let's let's merge our armies. Um, got our ruthless guy. Yeah, we will be able to get there. Why? Are you guys in a war? No. Well, okay, I'm definitely gonna help you. I got my I got my leader. I wouldn't mind gaining a couple of um, allies. King Elector Willem the First Paulibrand rose to the throne in Bohemia. That's fine. What's his personality? Oh, he's an administrator. Um, they will seek to improve the economy by any means available, but are less prone towards war unless it furthers their trade interest. That's actually kind of nice. Um, let's try to... Well, maybe we, maybe we can stomp these guys. Nope. Did not manage to. Oh, come on. I guess I'm guess I'm on too high a speed. I do want to do something in this war. We did not manage to get um, to the reduced war exhaustion, but we can sort of squash a couple of these small armies. Brandenburg is sieging down stuff. Um, I'm gonna gonna kill these guys. Yeah, they're gone. Instant instant jibbed. Uh, I think we're gonna siege down that one. How's the war going? Yeah, Pomerania. Oh, yeah, and Denmark didn't join, so this war is out. Or did they separate piece them? No, they didn't. Truce with Pomerania ends. Yeah, that's fine. This is gonna be an easy war, I think. Who's in? Who's uh, who else is in this? Lüneburg and East Frisia. Um, and Würzburg is actually sieging down East Frisia. So I might actually have some war contribution in this, um, even though I didn't fight much. Yeah, 16%. Well, let's hope Brandenburg is happy enough about this. Let's send our other diplomat to Liège to do what we can for our relations. We're only six down, but um, every little bit matters. Yeah, Brandenburg is definitely down with us becoming emperor. Greifswald is now under our occupation. Anything else that we could do? Doesn't look like it. Looks like this war has been won. East Frisia might be out. No, they are not. They are not. Odd. So Würzburg is still attacking there, but I don't see them. They are my vassal though. I should see whatever they see. There's something really fishy going on with these um, Hungarian mercenaries. I don't understand how that works. 
Uh, we have to go through the new book. Can't go, can't go through here. Yeah, we can. Uh, we've got the money to pay down the next loan. I'm going to, I'm going to turn off my my forts again just to save some money. Oh, you guys. Yeah, we're down to six favors. That's really nasty. I should have used the other ones to improve the trust. I have a lot of thr uh, trust um, from Cologne, so I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do this, up the trust of me a little bit. And these guys, I think they're gonna owe us a couple of favors um, soonish. Um, oh, and I can call in these guys as well. That's that's kind of nice. It's kind of neat. Um, how about you guys? Yeah, we have seven favors with you. Um, as soon as we're done improving those relations, we're actually gonna send someone to Hungary to sort of get them on our good side. We already have Denmark on our good side. Doesn't it's not quite enough to swing an alliance, but might change when we are an emperor. Um, so yeah, we're here because we want to go to East Frisia. I kind of want to find out what's happening over there. Come on, dude. Get out of there. We're gonna get attrition to death. God oh, damn it. So yeah, let's let's see. Uh, if we can siege down East Frisia, it's gonna be good. They still have a high war enthusiasm, which amazes me. Yeah, no, we're we're here. They are the attacker. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. We're gonna get attrition to death if we stay in there. Stupid Hungarians. Brandenburg and conquest of Kolberg. Um, they lost twelve thousand. These guys lost five thousand seven hundred. We lost five hundred. Würzburg lost nothing. These guys lost nine thousand. Also, they just separate pieced them out, right? Yeah. Um, they paid 136 ducats. We gained 21. That's nice. Um, will annul all treaties with Pomerania. And war reparations. Total of 5 prestige will divide it. We gain 0.7. Magdeburg will gain 4 power projection. Yeah, speaking of power projection, I don't think we have our rival set. And I, I did that on purpose. I have not forgotten it. But I don't think we profit that much from rivals. We can't take Salzburg because they're too small. Uh, we could. We, we're going for Bohemia at some point just to get the alliance with Hungary. But I want to be prepared to fight Bohemia before we do that. So let's bring you back. Um, let's go for Hungary now. Let's bring up the relations over there. Rival announced. Hamburg have said Brandenburg as their rival. Okay, that's fine. I don't care. Uh, we still have some loans. We're gonna bring back our troops. This still hasn't happened over there, which is kind of odd. 21%. I mean, it is a fort at the sea, so it's gonna take a long time to siege down. But still, oh yeah, and there's there's an army. Aren't they out of the war? No, they're not. They are not. So there's still the possibility of smashing those is uh, that East Frisian army, but they are they are black flagged. I'm not sure they, they're actually able to do anything there. Where are they going? Yeah, there they are. Clergy lost some influence. That's fine. And we've got land theft. Many land donations are quite old and while they are while they are always written down, both landscape and names may well change. Uh, may well have changed since the donation was originally written. Recently, the clergy have been accusing several members of the nobility of outright land theft in the form of encroaching on lands donated to the clergy long ago. The nobility, on the other hand, argue that it is the clergy who are trying to seize lands that they do not own. Whoever we decide to uh, des decide to side with will become the majority landholder in the area. Oh, they want Straubing. No, 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 no. Favor neither party. I'm not going to give that away. Losing 15 loyalty each. That's not nice. Um, it's quite a swing, but I don't want to give Straubing away. Uh, it's really not something that I want to do. I mean, the nobility might at some point fall down. No, guys. It's not going to happen. Okay, yeah, they don't like me anymore. <laughs> Where are they going? We can't attack those black flag troops. I'm not gonna try. I'm just gonna bring down my my army maintenance and all that. Uh, we sort of 
prepare to <clears throat> to wait this war out. Oh, and our great general died. Crap. So now we are a good general down. I might have to roll for another one in the next episode. Let's see. We have yeah, we have no generals. I don't really want to make my my leader into one. Our heir is just as bad as our own leader now. We're really having some some subpar heirs over there. What's the nobility? What about the generalship? They need to be loyal. And I only can do this in 96. No. No, that's fine, actually. But I'm, I'm definitely going to call the diet. I have a lot of prestige that I can sort of get rid of. Um, still can't do this. They need 20 influence. And no, they need 40. They need... Um, yeah, influence. 40 or greater. And that did not push them over, interestingly enough. That loses us 20 loyalty. It, it will sort of give us a general if we do this. Um, how about you guys? I could just give you some money so you're nice again. I could also do this. Don't really want to lose legitimacy though. That's kind of unnice. Hmm. Let's do it. I don't want them disloyal. Okay, well, uh, I guess I gotta end it here. I think we'll get out of this war. We got our alliance going with uh, mines over here. We also will be able to annex this vessel um, in a couple of months. But more importantly, we're sort of accruing the, the favors of uh, finally moving on these guys. I think after this war, I will set my Bohemia to be my rival. Um, how many how many men do they have? Bohemia have 30,000 men. Holy crap. And we have to neuter them pretty hard, I think. There's no way around it. And I mean, I might still be able to swing an alliance with Hungary. Um, I'm pretty sure that they are rather keen on taking some land. So I might do it the other way around. I might actually attack Bohemia and call Salzburg as a co-belligerent so they can, can call in Memmingen and really just duke it out, take a lot of land from them kind of get somewhere. Where's our aggressive expansion? 6, 14. Um, yeah, most people don't care about our aggressive any, uh, aggress aggressive expansion anymore, which is sort of the the point where you, sh where you should strike. Um, that's definitely a thing. You sort of always want to have your aggressive expansion rather high up. But yeah, for now, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you didn't, tell me why in the comments so I can improve. And if you want to see more of this series in the future, please consider subscribing to the channel. I hope you join me next time. Thanks and bye-bye.